Welcome back Weight Watchers members to Over 50. Uh, this is like the fourth time I've tried to record this video because the dogs have just been going berserk. But I'm recording a second video today because I've seen a lot of people on the message boards on Facebook mentioning that they have joined Weight Watchers or they're going to join Weight Watchers and they want to know how to get started because they have no idea. So I thought I would tell you what I did four years ago when I first started. Currently I'm a lifetime member so I'm just basically in maintenance mode. What lifetime is is basically you meet your goal weight and then you weigh in every week and to show that you can maintain that goal week for six weeks and then you don't have to pay for Weight Watchers ever again, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you how to get started and how to start you know, using the app and hopefully you'll have the success that I had. So before I get started, if you would, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button comment down below because I answer comments back very usually very quickly um, unless I'm teaching in my classroom share this video with your friends out there if you want to click the bell when you subscribe they'll let you know each time I post new videos and let's just get started so the first thing you're going to do is obviously you're going to pay to join Weight Watchers then and then download the app to your smartphone once you download the app, it's going to ask you to take an assessment. You want to make sure that on the assessment that you answer the questions honestly, because if you just click on things, um, you know, bananas, bananas could be four points when they really should be zero. Like I eat on a banana every day, you know, and you know, so I clicked on something then that made all my fruit actually count as points and then when I took it again the second time all my fruits and vegetables were free just like they have always been so there's the assessment that's what you do with that then after that it's just a matter of eating and tracking um, say you I'm just gonna use this as an example not a good one but you know say you want a candy bar scan the barcode or the UPC code off the wrapper it'll pop up in your phone you click track and it deducts the points from your daily points. You'll have something what they call daily points and weekly points. Daily points are points you get every day. And weekly points are kind of like what I call splurge points. In other words, if you, let's say you go over your daily points, well, points are taken from your weekly points. And if you use up all your weekly points, you'll start going negative into the weekly points. Um, the idea is, is I always like to try, I always would try, if I'm really trying to lose weight and I'm trying to drop it quick, I would try to make sure that I, I didn't touch my weeklies. I would try to make sure at the end of the week or, you know, when I start my new week that all my weeklies are still there, maybe even a little bit higher because as you exercise or you walk around or you go to the gym, whatever, all that kind of exercise gives you points that are added to your weeklies. So, you know, you can actually increase that number of weeklies. So back to the tracking, you know, you start tracking things and you just try to, you know, stay within your point total. I mean, if you, if you really want, you know, to eat something, you can eat it. I mean, you can eat whatever you want. You just have to account for it. You have to track it. And what the program kind of teaches you is it teaches you, hey, you can have some macaroni and cheese, but you don't need to eat three cups of it at one time. One cup of it, you know, mixed in with some vegetables and some other you know low point options like chicken breast or turkey breast or something like that um, there you can still have your mac and cheese but you know you're having a smaller portion of it you're having less points therefore you have a better chance of hopefully losing weight at the end of that week um, the nice thing about the app is let's say you go to a restaurant and you're like well how do I like you know let's say I want the double I want the double rancher bacon burger from Chili's well, that, that might be kind of hard to guess the points. You don't have to guess. On the app, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see a little a word that says restaurants. You click on that or tap it, and it'll pull up a way for you to search restaurants. You can search by smart points, which I've never done. I just always type in the restaurant name. Type in the name of the entree that you're having. It'll bring it up. You tap it again, and there you go. Track it, and the points are deducted. So. Even when you're out to eat, you don't have to worry about, you know, how am I going to figure out how much this plate of fettuccine Alfredo is. It tells you the points. And then sometimes you can look at the points and be like, wow, that's a lot of points. Well, say you only eat half of it and you take the other half home. There you've had what you want. You've had your food. You've had, you know, you've eaten what you want to eat. 
you're just eating a smaller portion of it, therefore you have less points to deduct from your dailies. Um, you might come up to a situation where the UPC code doesn't scan, or you don't know, you know, the, um, rarely have I been at a restaurant that pulls up where something is not, you know, I type it in and it doesn't show up. But say something like that happens, well, you just need to look at the nutritional information. So like if you're looking at a box of, say just a, I don't know, a box of jambalaya, just throwing that out there because that's what I'm going to make later. Type in or, you know, just go to build a recipe. So you can go into recipes, you know, create or, you know, or create a food. And then you just type in your calories, your fats, your sugars, your fibers, your proteins, your sodium. There might be one other, um, one other thing that I'm missing to include in that, but you type that in and then it'll build the recipe for you. You save it and then that recipe is in your phone. So the next time you want that, you want to have that food, it's already stored in there. You just go to your recipes or your food, my foods, you click on it and however many servings you're having of it and you track it that way. So, you know, if you're at a restaurant and you don't know how to do that, you could always ask them for the nutritional information because they're supposed to have that there. And if they are, are asked for it, they have to provide it to you. It's just a, a law, but um, you know, that's how you can track something at a restaurant if for some reason they don't pull up or you pull up the restaurant and that entree is not listed. It's not a big deal, just punch it in. Um, it takes, it might take a few, it takes a little time to punch it all in, but once you've saved it, it's there, you know, unless something happens to your phone. Um, other than that, uh, what I always try to do is I tried to, if I wanted to lose weight, um, quickly, I would try to never touch my weeklies and you can actually add, you can actually earn weeklies by exercise. So like, just like I walk, if you if I walk like about. 2,800 steps I get like two points and that gets added to my weeklies so you can earn points for just exercise walking around take the stairs you know instead of the elevator you know um, take the long way to your office cubicle or whatever it is you know or, or park a little further away from the door so you get you get those steps in and that can just help but I would always try to not touch my weeklies Something else you can do is if you don't use all your daily points, say you have four daily points at the end of the day, you don't use those four, there's four left over, they also roll over into your weeklies. So you can actually increase your weeklies and then if you decide that you know you want to go to Dairy Queen, you want to get a blizzard, you can get that small Dairy Queen blizzard and you know if you've added to your weeklies, you know you might have enough weeklies to where you can have the blizzard and still have weeklies left over. You've obviously burned, every time you burn through your daily points, you start using weeklies. So you wanna, you know, ideally I would try to always not use my dailies if I wanted to try to lose maximum weight and try to, you know, you know, take it off quickly. But the point about this program is it's not like, you're not supposed to starve yourself. You're not supposed to, you don't want to like, I don't wanna say deny yourself you know the pleasure of food but if you want to eat something eat it you know you have to live your life you know but Weight Watchers just teaches you how to you know portion things you can have what you want you don't have to buy any special foods you know you don't have to you know like order anything through like Nutrisystem or anything like that you eat whatever you want to eat and you just track it and it's that simple so I've tried to make this a concise video. It's already nine minutes, which is longer than I want it to be. So this is gonna take an eon to upload from my phone. But if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, and um, I guess until next time, I wish you best of luck on your quest to lose some weight. And um, if I can help you in any way, let me know. And um, have a good one. Please subscribe and uh, have a happy new year. Catch you later.